Hello, please permit me to make a passionate appeal to you. Dr. Richard Okoye is not here to criticize anybody or the body of Christ where he belongs. But if you get to know the pain of a woman having labor for nine months with pregnancy only at the cost of delivery loses the baby, the womb or sometimes even lose their lives. At that point, you will keep your comment and be able to listen to me today. I can emotionally tell you today that I cry when I see an ignorant pregnant woman in Africa because she can be a victim of anything by reason of this ancestral ignorance called Hebrew women delivery. Today, you will get to know that Hebrew women delivery does not exist anywhere in the Bible. You will be left with a question, where did it come about? Who is preaching this? I happen to have an ugly experience, quite emotional as it were. A woman that was already 46, incidentally, she did IVF after the decade of marriage and eventually got pregnant. And he happened to be a baby boy. This woman carried this very pregnancy going on only at the point of delivery. Because of what is called, which I will show you today, what is called borderline pelvis, her age, and the precious nature of the pregnancy. The doctor recommended to go for cesarean section. He says, it's not my portion. I will deliver like a Hebrew woman. In the course of the exercise, why we are Talking to her, I, a pastor was calling her on phone, speaking to her, prophesying she will not go under night, she will deliver like a Hebrew woman. And lo and behold, while everybody appeared to the point that even the husband came in a nine times before this woman and said to her, baby, we have waited for this so long. I have the money to pay. Let's have this our baby. The woman said, God will not share his glory within me. And I must deliver like a Hebrew woman. That very phone call continued to come from time to time she will pray. All of a sudden, the heartbeat of that very baby started dropping. Attention again was called to her. She said, God will not put me to shame. And eventually, that very baby struggled and died in her womb. And you know the painful aspect? That same woman was taken to the theater, a dead baby delivered, and handed over to them. To me, it was a mix of emotion and also a query to God's faithfulness towards the faith this woman has expressed towards that very war. I will deliver like a Hebrew woman. And you know what? As I was meditating for the first time, I got a ministration in the inside. Go and read that very scripture. I never knew. I never read it. Most of us now that is waiting for me to make it that Dr. Richard Okoye has become an antichrist, I'm very much convinced that you may not even know where that scripture is, let alone having read it. Let us use today to liberate our women, liberate Africa from this oppression of hell through ignorance. Let's be able to look at it together. This is in the Exodus 15 verse 19. And he said, The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of one was Shifra and the other was poor. And he said, When ye do the office of a midwife to Hebrew women, and see them upon the stool, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives fear God, and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the male children alive. Let me give you a typical picture of what happened here. Pharaoh actually, in attempt to reduce the numerical strength of the people of Israel, gave a decree to the midwives that were delivering the Hebrew women. And said to them, if you see these Hebrew women delivering at the point of delivery, if it be a son... Kill that very son. But if he be a daughter, leave that one. And Bible said that these very women fear God. 
It's a, how can we be part of this evil conspiracy? And did not do what Pharaoh asked them to do, but save the main children alive. Let me tell you now, as a doctor, for you to confirm whether a baby is a boy or a girl, you must deliver that very baby full because from here up, they are same. So when you deliver, then you have to check out for the, the testicles before you'll be able to say this is a boy. But the fear of God came on these women that on the course of delivering them, say, how could we be part of this evil conspiracy? And they now decided to be hiding those children. That's how Moses was hidden also. But the thing now go to the ear of Pharaoh. And that's where you see that ancestral ignorance is the beating he said. And it's in the book of Exodus 1 verse 18. Look at it. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have you done this thing and have saved the main children alive? He got to know. And look at the response of those women which the Hebrew women prophecy came aboard and nobody ever asked question. Verse 19, verse 19, And the midwife said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered and before the midwives come unto them. My question here for anybody that is grammatically intelligent, is this very statement true? It never happened. When the Pharaoh got to know, he called the women and said, how dare you? I gave you an instruction and you're doing otherwise. If those women can say, no, king, we didn't want to obey you, of course we finish them. And in self-defense, these women say, no, 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 Pharaoh, what happened is that these women we are as smart. They are so smart that even before we come, they will deliver. What God demonstrated here in Job 5 verse 12, he said he frustrated the devices of the crafty that their hands can perform the enterprise. But unfortunately, our fathers got a grammatical misinterpretation of this subject and started declaring it. We preach it every way. You, you will deliver like a Hebrew woman. You will not go for cesarean section. It is not your portion. I can tell you, thousands of women, thousands of women have died. In the course of this very thing you are seeing here, somebody will come to the church and say, praise the Lord. As I was in labor, the doctor said, we deliver by cesarean section. He said, it's not my portion. I reject it. I reject it. And I said, and I labored, and I labored after two days, I was in labor. But all of a sudden, as the man of God prayed for me, bah, 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 the, the baby came out. Praise the Lord. Church will burst into shower. Hear me? Ignorance is the mother of personal destruction. A voluntary misfortune. And it is worse when you are ignorant of your ignorance. That very shout, that testimony is not complete. Go and check out. The state of their babies, majority of them, their IQ has never been the way God created it. Now, let me show you what this woman, as a pregnant woman, passed through, which will help you in both your prayers, your prophecy, when you see a woman who is pregnant. If you have a look at this, I will to show you two different women, but this time around, if you look at this, the hole here is called bed canal, all right? This is where usually the passage, the baby usually come out. If you check out the diameter of this, you find out that this is roomy, which will allow the head of a baby to come out. This is what is called gynecal pelvis, found in most women, all right? This is android pelvis that is found in men. You find out that it's very, very narrow. But you know the irony of this is that despite the fact that majority of women have this roomy pelvis, all right, twenty-five percent of women have also been found to have this. Now let me reveal to you what has killed most of our women in the course of going through this process. Otherwise, God promised them and said, "You shall be saved in childbearing. You and your baby supposed to be well." But a situation where that the head of the baby and this very canal happen not to match. Let me say, the head of this very baby, if this is the case of this woman, and the head of the baby is bigger than the canal where it will come out. 
That woman will have a problem they call kephalopevy disproportion, telling you that the head of this baby and the canal where it will come out the pelvis, they can match. And this is a situation most women may be, and someone will be somewhere prophesying and saying you must deliver like a Hebrew woman. When a woman is found in this state, it may be borderline baby doctor looking at other factors advice. You know what will happen? This very baby is likely to die. This woman may likely rupture the womb. The womb may tear. And this woman, if he ruptured the womb, majority of them die if there's no immediate intervention. Some of them will pass through this and start having VVF. What you see in a number of places where the ring will now come out through the vagina because of false opening because of this labor. Did you know that it is expected of a woman Within 12 hours, once at this stage of labor are reached, that woman should deliver within 12 hours if he's delivering for the first time. Or, if the person had delivered before, it should be less. But we hear people say, hey, I've been laboring for two days. My friend, you are killing the future of that baby. What do I mean by that? Look at this. This brain, the brain of a child does not finish development at birth. It takes about a year and six months. That is a two months period. That's why the head is cracked like this. If this head is in... If this head, if this head gets trapped in here for a long time, this baby may come out, but the brain will not be as sharp as God made it. Ignorance is the mother of personal destruction. Majority of women have lost their womb. Don't forget that when the testimony in the church, I, will, I deliver like a Hebrew woman. The I, doctor say, and I say contrary, and I deliver. You know what? Those that lost their womb will not come out for testimony. They will tell them it's one devil or one demon or your uncle or maybe their mother-in-law or father-in-law responsible. How long can we remain in this darkness? It will be told this mother-in-law. Those that died are in the grave, permanently silent. We can't be in position to continue to allow this. Again, if you look at this, this baby ought to come out through the service, all right? Through the service, the placenta is there, the procedure, from that, whatever, good enough, because it's free, this every place. But what in a situation, what if in a situation, where the placenta is located, on the lower segment, where the baby is supposed to come out. This is what is called major degree placenta previa. If this thing happened, did you know that if you ask this woman to push, blood, it will, she will bleed to death. As a matter of fact, this is one condition where they say that it is contraindicated, even for anybody, be it a midwife, a doctor, to do vaginal examination because you may need this woman to bleed. But our women will have this, which is the, something the solution is already known, that by cesarean section, this baby can be out and it nicely remove the placenta, which may not happen the next one. But somebody will say, it's not a portion, you will not go for CS. Some will tell them that if you deliver by cesarean section, you are not a woman. And we are having a lot of people just dying in this environment, where childbearing is a blessing from God has turned to sorrow. These and many more responsible for a decision your doctor may advise. A pregnant woman need professional assistance. I encourage you, please, share this knowledge to everyone, including our pastors. Let, our, let us be in position to help our women in their psychology of believing man of God Prophet of God that will deliver like a Hebrew woman is not a deception per se, but it's an ancestral ignorance acquired over the years. We can stop it and save our loved one. You have a sister. You have daughters. They will soon be pregnant. You have friends. Share this to them before they acquire this ignorance and go to crime, which is not God's intention. Share it to all right now as we advance in this very mission to save our people through the power of knowledge. God bless you. I remain your friend, Dr. Richard Okoye. We'll see you again.